Strawberries, strawberries, as far as the eye can see. At Walling's Nursery in Lawford, they produce one and a quarter million punnets a year. The season lasts seven and a half months, but soon that could change. Ah, coloured light, disco lights almost. Yeah, this is our exciting project with LEDs. We've had these installed across a little area of the crop just to try and demonstrate how much earlier the crop can be brought forward. So you've got lovely red strawberries here. Absolutely, just, cut, just coming already. right already. And they're at least a week to ten days earlier than an area down here which has no lights uh, where the crop's just starting to turn pink. Every December the nursery has to throw away £100,000 worth of strawberries that fail to ripen. But these lights could extend the season to Christmas. So why blue and red LED lights? Well, those are the parts of the light spectrum that these strawberries need to photosynthesize, to produce the lovely sugars that make the strawberries so sweet and tasty. What they don't need is the green part of the light spectrum. That's why the leaves here appear to us as green. These are pampered plants, aren't they? You tend to their every need. We do, we give them everything they want, actually. <laughs> so they don't have to sort of hunt for food. They've got plenty of CO2 being in, given to them. We've got bumblebees pollinating the crop. Uh, every, everything that the plant needs, so we're, we're treating them very gently. And, and now disco LED lights <laughs> to boot. That's right, just to give them that little extra push. <laughs> and the signs are promising, aren't they? They are. They are very exciting, uh, particularly on fruit numbers and sugar levels. Now the proof is in the tasting. We've all had tasteless imported strawberries. Let's see what one of these are like. I'll tell you what, that is mm. gorgeous. It's early days, but if the trial's successful, a little taste of summer could soon be on the tables at Christmas. Richard Daniel, BBC Look East, Lawford.